Governor Matt Bevin's first term in office has been filled with highs and lows, from economic development wins to very public squabbles with teachers. So his success tonight may depend on which version was on the minds of voters today. LEX 18 political reporter Carolina Buchek is with the Bevin campaign in Louisville as they await results. That begins our Decision 2019 team coverage. Has Governor Matt Bevin done enough to get himself another four years in office? That is the question that ultimately voters will answer tonight. And so many people are here waiting for that answer. You see reporters behind me. We've got local media. We've got out of state media. We have national media here. All eyes are on Kentucky right now. And of course, the supporters that are here at the Galt House at this watch party, they are hoping that this turns into a party. They want this to be a celebration tonight. And of course, so does the governor. After he cast his own vote earlier today, he said he's feeling good. He's feeling confident and hoping to win by 10 to 12 percent. And part of why the governor is feeling so good likely has to do with the president's appearance yesterday. At the Keep America Great rally, the president talked the governor up and highlighted their relationship, which is something that the governor has spent months doing as he campaigned across the state. And this morning, he was a little defensive when reporters asked him, why is he nationalizing Kentucky's race for governor? Are you, is this a civics lesson now? You think I don't understand what the role is? Talk to the average person. Ask the next 100 people who come in here if they care about this impeachment process. And they will tell you, almost to a person, that they do. And the Kentucky GOP is hoping for a good turnout here at the Galt House for their watch party. So far, there's about 30 people, but doors have opened not too long ago. So people are still slowly filing in. And like I said before, they are hoping that this turns into a party, into a celebration. For now, live in Louisville, Carolina Buchuk, LEX 18 News.